Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Well, you know the rest, right? Except we're not talking about Alka-Seltzer today. We're talking about these effervescent tablets that turn regular water into hydrogen water. You probably heard of them, but do you understand them? Well, we're gonna break down what they are, how they work, and if they're even good for you in this episode of Issue Minutes. Hydrogen tablets are an easy, cheap, and legitimate way of getting hydrogen water. They come in tablet form, that way you can carry them around anywhere you go. And just pop them in some water and you can have hydrogen water wherever you are. But this does not just happen magically. Every aspect of hydrogen tablets can be explained scientifically, and that is what we're gonna do in this video. But first, we have to say thank you to our patrons on Patreon. These people have made it possible for us to make these educational videos about hydrogen. We have over 100 videos on our channel teaching about all things hydrogen gas, and these people are a big reason it is possible. We thank you and we honor you. If you would like to join them and help us reach the world about molecular hydrogen, check out our Patreon page. The purpose of this video is to explain a common method of producing hydrogen-rich water. We have also done an Understanding Hydrogen Water video and Understanding Hydrogen Inhalation video. So this is basically our third video to go along with those two to help you understand how this method works. So I hope you enjoy our Understanding Hydrogen Tablets video. First, let's get into what hydrogen tablets are and how they work. H2 tablets use magnesium to create hydrogen gas via the reaction of magnesium with water. They utilize microparticles of elemental magnesium powder for producing hydrogen gas. The tablets contain simple sugars such as dextrose, maltose, etc., and acids such as malic acid, tartaric acid, etc. The sugars act as a binder to hold the tablets together, and the acids serve other purposes such as benefiting the reaction. These tablets are one of the most affordable and convenient ways of experiencing the health benefits of H2. But let's go deeper into some of these words. Magnesium is an essential mineral for the human body. It, along with potassium, sodium, and calcium, are very important for our bodies. Magnesium is found in every cell of the human body and is vital in multiple functions of the human cell including the activation of ATP. Magnesium is a cofactor for over 300 enzyme systems, which means magnesium participates in and is vital for a diverse range of biochemical reactions in the human body. H2 tablets use an elemental form of magnesium, which react with water to form molecular hydrogen and magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide breaks down or disassociates 100% in the human body leaving hydroxide and ionic magnesium, which is the essential form of magnesium that is utilized by the human body. A large percentage of people in the US are deficient in magnesium as well as other electrolytes. Most H2 tablets provide 80 milligrams of magnesium per tablet, so it is a great supplement for magnesium. Malic acid is an organic compound that is produced by the human body during the citric acid cycle or cellular respiration. It contributes to the sour taste of most fruits. It can improve the function of the mitochondria. It has potential ergogenic benefits, which means enhancing performance, such as increased energy levels or pain reduction. There are three types of these tablets, closed container, open container, and ingestible tablets. Closed container hydrogen tablets are tablets that require you to drop the tablet into a bottle of water, put a lid on the bottle, and then let it sit for a while. The H2 concentration of the water produced by these tablets depend on multiple factors, such as the type of bottle used, allowance time of the reaction, temperature, and the type of tablet you use. They normally produce one or more milligrams per liter or PPM of H2 in 16 ounces of water within 15 minutes. And they can reach well over two milligrams per liter of dissolved H2 within eight hours or more. This was the first type of hydrogen tablet on the market, but it's not as popular anymore. Open container hydrogen tablets are definitely the most favored H2 tablet currently. These tablets can produce a high concentration of molecular hydrogen in water containing dissolved 
and quasi-dissolve hydrogen gas. Quasi-dissolve hydrogen gas refers to the visible suspended gas cloud state that forms in the water. When these tablets are placed in water, they rapidly produce nanobubbles of hydrogen gas. These nanobubbles of H2 have a high internal pressure creating an environment in the water that allows for temporary supersaturation of hydrogen in the water. Remember, the hydrogen gas saturation point in water at SATP is 1.6 milligrams per liter. This means these tablets will temporarily produce a dissolved hydrogen concentration of two to three milligrams per liter or ppm. This phenomenon has been observed in scientific literature as well. A single tablet produces more hydrogen than needed to reach equilibrium saturation described by Henry's law. Therefore, for equilibrium saturation, one would not expect a significant difference between dissolving one or two tablets. The experiment shows that the dissolved hydrogen is 20% in over equilibrium concentration. Again, a plausible explanation is that it may form nanobubbles. Therefore, the undissolved nanobubbles of H2 are too small to immediately escape. So this quasi-dissolved H2 cloud is resistant to dissipation until the nanobubbles in the H2 cloud become larger, which can take several minutes. Laboratory tests on these H2 tablets reveal that adding one of these to 500 milliliters or 16 ounces of water will result in the water containing at least 3 to 4 milligrams of H2. So these tablets can provide a fantastic dose of H2. So if you use these type of hydrogen tablets to produce your hydrogen water, it's best to consume the water immediately after the tablet reacts. One popular complaint that some seem to have with this type of H2 tablet is the dextrose that these tablets contain. Nevertheless, the concern is truly unmerited as the amount of sugar one of these tablets contain is only a fraction of a calorie. In other words, it's so low in sugar that it won't increase your blood sugar in the slightest. Furthermore, out of all the type of tablets referenced in this video, this tablet is the only tablet that is FDA approved as a new dietary ingredient. They are also certified to IHSA's standards. This certification includes a water quality analysis by a EPA approved lab. This means their safety profile is exceptionally high. Ingestible H2 tablets work off the same principle as other H2 tablets. The reactants in the H2 tablets will produce H2 once they come in contact with water or the acid in the stomach. This method may not be as effective as solubilized H2 tablets, which allows the dissolved hydrogen gas to directly enter the bloodstream via water absorption through the small intestines into the portal vein. When ingested H2 tablets are consumed, the H2 gas that is generated in the stomach has to find available fluid to dissolve into in order to travel with the water to be absorbed into the bloodstream. For this reason, it's hard to determine how much hydrogen gas the person is exposing their body to. Thus, this method of ingesting H2 has its limitations when compared to solubilized H2 tablets. As a point of safety, Closed container tablets and open cup tablets should not be ingested in the same manner as ingestible tablets. This is because the reaction generates heat and may damage the stomach. So it's probably not wise to do. Now, to answer the question if they are good for you. The best way for me to answer this question is to share how the tablets are performing in the studies. Let me show you five quick studies of how the tablets are performing in a clinical setting. Keep in mind, all of these studies utilize open cup tablets as opposed to the other type of tablets. First, let's take a look at this study where it says, Supplementation with high concentration hydrogen rich water significantly reduced blood cholesterol and glucose levels, attenuated serum, hemoglobin, A1C, and improved biomarkers of inflammation and redox homeostasis as compared to placebo. Furthermore, H2 tended to promote a mild reduction in body mass index and waist to hip ratio. Here in this study, the results were that Hydrogen rich water significantly decreased average exercising respiratory rate and heart rate. Hydrogen water decreased exercising heart rate during minutes one through nine of the graded exercise test compared to placebo and baseline without substantially influencing maximum oxygen capacity. In this case report using hydrogen tablets, the results were as follows. We report here a case of an elite professional athlete who suffered a grade two ankle sprain and who subsequently received six sessions of ankle and foot hydrotherapy. Example given 30 minutes at every four hours. 
with super saturated hydrogen rich water during the first 24 hours post injury. The pain visual analog scale self completed by the patient dropped from 50 points moderate pain at baseline immediately after injury to 20 points mild pain at 24 hours follow up. Ankle swelling dropped by 2.8% and dorsal flexion range of motion improved by 27.9% from baseline to follow-up, respectively. Our case has indicated that an acute multi-session hydrotherapy with hydrogen-rich water might be a helpful treatment in terms of pain, swelling reduction, and regaining range of motion after an ankle sprain. Check out this next study. It's quite impressive. The study shows that hydrogen water was able to improve, but not limited to, longer DNA telomeres, improve brain metabolism, improve DNA myelination, improve cognitive function, improve pain score, improve senior fitness test exercises, improve sleep parameters, improve brain neurotransmitters, etc. in the elderly. This human clinical trial study concluded that hydrogen water is a safe, effective, and promising anti-aging agent. The study's length was six months. It reports that six months hydrogen-rich water intake of a half a liter per day favorably affected several aging-related features in healthy elderly. It concluded that hydrogen-rich water was safe and could be put forward as a promising anti-aging agent. Here in this last study, it says, the combination of chemotherapy and hydrogen-rich water demonstrated significant reductions of tumor weight, size, collagen disposition, and degree of fibrosis beyond chemotherapy alone. When administered on its own, hydrogen-rich water demonstrated similar benefits in reducing tumor size compared to the chemotherapy drug. Well, I hope after watching this video, you have a better understanding of hydrogen tablets. Do you have any other questions about them? If you do, be sure to leave me a question in the comments and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be the first to know when we release a video. And that was your effervescent dose of H2 within minutes.